In this lecture, we are going to learn how to do statistics on columns and rows. So the first way is just to select a column, come to column, come to set column value and you can come to function. Okay, so when you come to function, there are tons of statistics that you can do over here. So you have inbuilt functions for you. So because the output will be in column A, let's just select E and come to function. And then let's go to statistics and let's just choose mean. And you have this pop up. Always don't ignore. It says it says mean of column A returns the average value of column A. So let's say we type in column A and hit apply and we have the mean of column A. So in other words, we can also just come here and type mean of column A and that will be correct. The next approach is to come to statistics descriptive statistics and you can come to columns and it will bring this pop-up that we had when we want to start advisor so from this column you can choose the column that you want some statistics on so let's say we want column a and you can come to quantities choose whatever that you want as we did before It generates this for you you can also click on this which is and come to change parameters and maybe you want to change whatever that you chose so let's go for B instead and it generates this so you can always use this icon which is shows over here and come to change parameters and come to select columns so let's say we want to select all three A, B, C and go to OK. And you have statistics on column A, on B and on C. And you can also do same for rows. So when you're done, make sure you don't close this window. This is the report window on statistics on columns. If you want to close it, you can just right click and delete these. If you close the whole workbook, you lose your data you can also come in and do statistics on so descriptive statistics and statistics on rows choose the dialog but before you do that i will entreat you to select the rows so let's say you want to do start on these rows and come to statistics descriptive statistics and statistics on rows go to open and the rows have been selected so let's say you just hit ok and you have it in here so you have the rows labeled here and you can have the stats the other way is also to come to the standard toolbar and locate the command window and and just type start so it shows you can hit start and you can go into let's say column B and hit enter and you have the start on column B showing so you can whatever that it's whatever that is checked in there when you come to the dialog box here will show over here so whatever that is checked here will show in here so make sure you can also use this too if you want some quick values on on your on your columns or rows so that will be it for this lecture see you in the next one